I wrote an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation fan fiction. <laughs> I had a diary talking about my embarrassing moment. I didn't know guys kept journals. I wrote reams of garbage when I was in high school. In your diary? I would, she would write like my life is so depressing, I wish it would all end and I'd put drowning is a peaceful way to go. I shot <laughs> fake news stories and I pretended I did Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. I found one file, a computer file. <laughs> it was the story of my, of my birth uh, told from the sperm's point of view. As the name Mortified might give you a little hint, so many of these readings capture just how wrongheaded we could be back when we were teenagers. Dear Diary. November 16th, 2003. I'm never going to jack off again. So I got the best idea. I'll produce a video. I decided to write songs. After World War I, what did we do? When people take that first step, it's a really scary place. I'm just worried it's not going to be Don't worry, bad this, enough. I <laughs> This is not an audition. Yeah. We're not here to judge you or anything yeah. like that. The whole process of Mortify was really interesting because I, I, I didn't think there was much uh, funny about my adolescence. We dedicate a lot of time to helping people dig through their notebooks and find excerpts that are going to resonate with strangers. I learned quite a bit about myself from the workshopping process. I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck! Mine out and then read it in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll see me up there next time. <laughs>